Hi, in this video we're going to be talking about customizing your folder views and settings. So I wouldn't say this is a super advanced video, but if you have never gone through these options, uh, it's always a good thing to do so just to make sure that File Explorer is working the way you want, uh, which will also make it easier to find your files and perform your daily tasks. All right, so we have File Explorer open here, and we're on this PC. So depending on your settings, so let's close it and open it again. All right, so you can see on this computer, it opens to home by default. You could also have it open to this PC if you prefer that, and we'll show you how to change that in a minute here. All right, so once you go into a particular drive here, if you have more than one, you'll see you have your views here. So this is in details view right now with the default option of sorting alphabetically. And then we also have date and type and size. So these columns can vary depending on what folder you're in. And you notice too, if you go into your pictures folder, it sorts it by the thumbnail view. And this is because it assumes you want to be able to see thumbnails of your pictures. And then documents may or may not be in details view, probably will be in details view, but you could change that as well. All right, so to change your view, let's say you don't want the details view. You have your view options here. You can also right click and go to view. So we have extra large icons, which you'll probably never use because they're too large unless you really wanted to zoom into, let's say, a picture uh, without having to open it up. Large icons, medium icons, small icons, which is the same as the list view pretty much. And the list view will put them in alphabetical order. But if we go back to details, sort by date, go back to list, you'll see that it kept the last setting from the details view. So if you do want to change it to list, but you want to have it in alphabetical order, you should go to details first, sort it the way you like, and then change it back to list. All right, then we also have tiles, which is kind of like a thumbnail view, but it has some additional information, uh, such as the file type and the size. And then we have content, which is also like a details view with bigger icons, and it gives you the date modified and the size. All right, so let's go back to details here so we can talk about columns. All right, so you probably know you can shrink and expand the columns like so. And if you don't want a column, you could right click on any column header. Then you could uncheck what you don't want to see. So let's say we don't want to see the size. Now that's gone. And if you want to put it back, just recheck it again. And then we have some other defaults here, such as date created, authors. So these defaults can change depending on what view you're in. So here we have, you know, the typical date modified, type size, created, authors, and so on. But if we were to go into our pictures folder, change this to details, you can see we have some other options, dimensions, rating, and so on, because it's seeing that it's a pictures folder. All right, so also when you right click, if you want to see some other options besides these, click on more, and you can see you have plenty of options here for additional categories or column types. And then if you pick one here, you could highlight it, move it up or down to have it change the order over here. And then you could also do this as well. Just click the column header, drag it over and release it. And that does the same thing. All right, then also while we're here under the view menu, we have the details pane, which will show you details of a file. The type, the size, who modified it last. And then you can click on properties to get more information, which is the same as right clicking it and going to properties. And you can turn it off from there. And then we also have the preview pane, but let's go back to pictures first. This one here. This tends to work better for your pictures. Like so, you can do it in the documents folder. But depending on the file type, it may or may not show you a preview. Like this computer doesn't have Word installed, so we're not going to get a preview. 
text files it works, PDFs it works, the images it works. No preview for a HTML page there. PowerPoint. We got a registry file here, it kind of shows you what's going on there, and so on. All right, then we also have the show options here. So if you want to see the navigation pane or turn it off, you could do that. Then we have compact view, which will put the items closer together if you want to fit more on the screen there. Then we also have the check boxes. So if you wanted to be able to check boxes rather than having to hold down control or shift to select multiple items, you could turn that on. All right, and then one thing I always like to do is turn on the file name extensions. So Windows will have some file extensions on by default, like the Office documents. You know, we have the Word and Excel extensions on so the extensions are the letters or numbers that come after the period or dot for the file name you can see these are pdf files but there is no dot pdf at the end even though there technically is it's just hidden so if we go here turn that on now you can see we have extensions for all of our files And then we also have the option to turn on hidden items. So if you have some hidden files and you want them to be shown, you can turn this on. So they will show up. They'll just be a little grayed out looking, indicating that they're hidden. All right, so another place you could go to configure how things are displayed and how things work is by going to the options by clicking on the ellipses here. So this dialog box here has been around forever. All right, so this is where you could change it from home to this PC if you want. So now when I close and reopen it, it opens to this PC rather than home. All right, then we also have the option here to open each folder in the same window or open each folder in its own window when you open a new folder. If you wanted to be able to open a file by single clicking it rather than double clicking it, you do that. I don't like to use this because you tend to accidentally open files when you're just trying to maybe drag them around or highlight them because all it takes is a single click to open them. All right, so this is a good one here, privacy. So recently used, frequently used, and office files, uh, which are commonly shown under home here, you know, recent and so on. You won't always have these displayed depending on how you have your computer configured. So you could turn these off if you don't want to see one or more of them. And then you could also clear the history too by clicking on this. All right, then over here we have some other view options here. So this is where you could come to do things such as show empty drives, another place to turn on file extensions. You can see there are a lot of other options here. Show the drive letters, status bar, and the navigation options, which are right here. So if you don't want to have network down here or this PC showing, you can turn that on or off. And then if you want to view the libraries and all folders, you can do that as well. And then once you make a change, if you click on apply to all folders, then it will apply to all of your other folders when you open them. All right, then also what you could do while you're here, if you right click in the navigation area, you have some of the same options here. So if you don't want to see this PC, now it's gone. And then you can come here and reset the views as well if you want to revert them back to default. All right, then we have a search tab here. So if you don't want to use indexing for finding your files, you can turn that off here. And then when searching, if you want to include system directories, you can turn this on and off and also search within compressed files such as zip files. And then there's an option to search file names and contents. I wouldn't say this works too well when it comes to searching contents, but you could try it out. And of course, it's going to make your uh, searches take longer. And Windows is notorious for having slow search times that it is, so you might want to leave that off.
All right, so there is your overview on how to change views and settings within File Explorer. All right, thanks for watching and be sure to subscribe.